Hi everyone! Welcome to Storytime with Miss Sarah. Let's get started with our hello song. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? I am fine, I hope you are too. I am fine, I hope you are too. I am fine. I hope you are too. I hope you're fine today. Clap in my hands. You do it too. Clap in my hands. You do it too. Clap in my hands. You do it too. Clap your hands with me. Yay! And let's see today's book. It's called The Umbrella Tree and it was written by Bob Bing and L.I. Hong Zuan. <laughs> Gua Gua and his younger sister Yaya had a very old red umbrella. They hung a little stuffed panda on their beloved umbrella. The red umbrella liked to shelter the two pandas from wind and rain. There's the panda that they hung from it. One day, a gust of heavy wind blew the red umbrella onto the top of a tree, tearing the umbrella to pieces, destroying the frame. Gua Gua and Yaya were very upset. Oh no, I'd be upset too. Will you be able to repair the red umbrella? Yaya asked her mother after she got home. Let me try, her mother replied. There, so she's gonna see if she can fix it. A few days later, it rained again. They saw a new floral umbrella in their umbrella holder, but they could not find their own red umbrella. Let's see. Sees it's raining outside and she's like, wait, that's not our umbrella. Our umbrella didn't have flowers on it. I want our red umbrella, Yaya said. I want our red umbrella too, Gua Gua said. I couldn't repair your red umbrella, so I threw it into the trash. If you want her, you may be able to find her there, their mother answered. Oh no, but look, it looks like the garbage man's there, uh-oh. But their umbre red umbrella had been loaded onto a garbage truck by Uncle Black Bear, who transported her to a remote garbage dump. When they couldn't find their red umbrella, Gua Gua and Yaya were so sad, they started to cry. Aww. He must have really liked their umbrella. The little monkey got the red umbrella. He danced with her. The little deer got the red umbrella. She rode on her. The little fox got the red umbrella. He ran with her and then threw her on the ground. So it looks like some animals rescued her the umbrella from the dump, but I guess they didn't want it because it says fox threw it on the ground. The red umbrella was very sad. She cried herself to sleep. In her dreams, she found herself becoming a new umbrella, covering the heads of Gua Gua and Yaya. So there's the umbrella being sad. And then she's imagining that she's all fixed so she can protect her panda friends from the rain. When she woke up, the red umbrella found new roots sprouting out of her. She grew and grew and soon became a big, strong umbrella tree. Whoa, that is really cool.
Soon, her branches were full of flowers. Every flower was a small red umbrella. Well, that looks really pretty. A little wild donkey came. He picked up a small red umbrella. A group of swans and big birds also came. They picked up the small red umbrellas. So lots of the animals are getting these umbrellas from the tree, but what about Goo Goo and Yaya? One day, Goo Goo and Yaya saw a little wild donkey holding a small red umbrella. She looks very familiar. Where did you get her, they asked. There is an umbrella tree on that mountain, the little donkey replied. Oh, are they gonna find it, their umbrella tree that used, um, the umbrella tree that used to be their umbrella? Gua Gua and Yaya ran to the tree. Gua Gua picked up a small red umbrella. What a beautiful small red umbrella. But I still want my old yellow, my old red umbrella back, Yaya said. I think they're gonna realize that that tree used to be their umbrella. Suddenly, Yaya shouted, look brother, their little stuffed panda was hanging on one of the branches. Yeah, remember they had a panda bear hanging from their umbrella and look, there's their panda bear, the umbrella tree, or the umbrella still has it even as it became the tree. Hugging the umbrella tree tightly, yeah, yeah, and Gua Gua asked, Red Umbrella, is that really you? We finally found you. The Red Umbrella thought she was dreaming, but she felt the warmth on the face of the pandas. This was real. Also, look at, you can see the tree has a face. This tree found its little pandas, and the pandas found them. What was their umbrella? <laughs> Lying against the tree under its shade, Gua Gua and Yaya fell asleep, surrounded by many small red umbrellas. Aww. The end. That was a cute little story. And I always liked panda bears. So you can see I have some panda bears on my flannel board. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five panda bears standing by the door. One walked away. Then there were four. One, two, three, four. Four little panda bears climbing a tree. One saw a bee. And that left three. One, two, three. Three little panda bears eating some bamboo. One walked away. That left two. One, two. Two little panda bears throwing a ball. One walked away. That left one. One. One little panda bear feeling all alone. She walked away and then went home. Now there are none. Fun. Bye bye, panda bears. And so I have my friend here, and she is actually a cousin of the Care Bears. And her name is Polite Bear. Say hi. When Polite Bear saw that I was going to be reading a book that had panda bears in it, and I had a flannel with panda bears, she wanted to help me do the song today because she's a panda bear too. So there's something actually in the back of the book I want to talk about a little bit. I wanted to do it right before the song. And one of the things I really liked about this book was 
it was a little bit about companionship. And it says right here, we all have our own red umbrella and it could be an item or a personship or an item or a person. And with its companionship, that means it's like, it's always there with us. We don't feel lonely. Instead, our hearts are filled with love and warmth. So when the umbrella became the tree and then Gula Gula and Yaya found it, they were filled with warmth because that umbrella was their favorite thing. It was something that made them happy. So we're going to sing about some things that might make you happy. It could be a favorite toy, a book, or even a person. Okay, are you ready, Polite Bear? Okay, so we're going to have our arms like this. We're talking about what we love. Ready? I love flowers. I love flowers. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Flowers make me happy. Flowers make me happy. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers. I love my blanket. I love my blanket. Yes, I do. Yes. I do. My blanket makes me happy. My blanket makes me happy. Blanket, 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 blanket. I love my family. I love my family. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. My family makes me happy. My family makes me happy. Family, 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 family. I love my dolly. I love my dolly. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. My dolly makes me happy. My dolly makes me happy. Dolly, dolly, dolly. Dolly, dolly, dolly. I love my sweatshirt. I love my sweatshirt. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. My sweatshirt makes me happy. My sweatshirt makes me happy. Sweatshirt, sweatshirt, sweatshirt. Sweatshirt, sweatshirt, sweatshirt. I love my Barbies. I love my Barbies. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. My Barbies make me happy. My Barbies make me happy. Barbies, Barbies, Barbies. Barbies, Barbies, Barbies. I love my Legos. I love my Legos. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. My Legos make me happy. My Legos make me happy. Legos, Legos, Legos. Legos, Legos, Legos. Yay! So what makes you happy? Maybe you could sing about it today. So I hope you have a good rest of your day and I will see you at story time next week. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, polite bear. Bye-bye.